Primo's honey. Stream the language. Making the shot is a little different for bow hunters and gun hunters, typically because when you're bow hunting, it's gonna be a lot closer shot. Can't tell you how important cover is, even though you're up in a tree or in a blind. If you're not using the blind correctly, if you're not using some cover when you're in the tree, those deer can see the movement, they can sense it, they can see you. So pay attention to what you're supposed to do in a blind. Wear black if you can. Back up so the light doesn't shine on you. Because if you move and there's light shining on you, they can see in that blind and see you. In a tree, I'm telling you, cover is absolutely the most important thing to keep the deer from seeing you. So when you hang that stand, look at the setup. Look at how you're gonna be silhouetted. Look up into the tree where you're gonna put the stand. Take into account that any kind of cover can break your outline, especially behind you. Now, once you see that deer, if his head walks behind a tree, that's the time to move. I'm thinking of a hunt that happened to me this past year. I finally reached for my bow, even though there was a deer behind me. The deer got spooky. And hey, I finally got a shot, but I missed. So you never know but try to draw when that deer is not got any line of sight to you. And then with a gun, just make sure that you've got a good rest because shooting from offhand is always risky. But if you've got a good rest, and those crosshairs are settled down or those sights are settled down, a lot better chance that you're gonna make a perfect killing shot.